Christine Niles. Today's Friday, October 11th, 2019. Here, latest church militant headlines. An Amazon Synod father is slamming the influence of liberation theology in South America. Uruguayan priest Father Martin Lasarte said Wednesday that many missionaries in the Amazon are more concerned with Marxist class struggle than with the gospel message. Lasarte lamented that many missionaries are living in the past, saying, quote, there's a sector of the local church that is still in the 1970s with class struggle, a church that goes to the poor. The Diocese of Buffalo's insurance company is refusing to pay for claims involving sex abuse cover-up. Continental Insurance Company recently filed a court document declaring the firm has no obligation to provide coverage for any claim in which the diocese knew of a predator priest's history of abuse. The company said that its policies only cover accidents and argued that it's not legally bound to pay in cases in which the diocese was aware of a pattern of sexual assault. Canada's Prime Minister is having his own Me Too moment. On Monday, just two weeks before Canada's federal elections, it's being reported that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau left a teaching position in 2001 at an exclusive West Coast school because of a consensual sexual relationship with a 17-year-old student. Trudeau's lawyers are allegedly offering the woman a $2.5 million payout if she signs a non-disclosure agreement. Canadian media has known about several allegations against Trudeau, but has refused to publish stories on them. A UK judge is forcing a pregnant woman with developmental disabilities to be fitted with contraception after her child is born. A judge with the Court of Protection of England and Wales has decided that a young Catholic woman with moderate learning disabilities must be inserted with a contraceptive device after the birth of her child. In June, another activist judge ordered that the woman be forced to abort her child. That ruling was overturned on appeal. Beto O'Rourke wants to punish churches for opposing same-sex marriage. At a town hall Thursday night, the Democrat presidential candidate made clear where he stands on the issue. Do you think religious institutions uh, like colleges, churches, charities, should they lose their tax-exempt status if they oppose same-sex marriage? Yes. O'Rourke is only polling at 3% in the latest Democratic primary poll. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church mills and headlines. Please watch The Vortex today. Michael talks about Francis, Jesus, and Scalfari. God bless you.